If you want to learn how to create interesting hamburger menu animations such as this, stick to the end of the video. So to create that hamburger effect we just saw, first of all I will create a frame and give it equal dimension to 10 to create a square like effect. I'll round the corners a bit, maybe like a 20. Then go down to effect and oh not stroke sorry. Effects give it a drop shadow then next I will get a rectangle and draw across here and give it a little bit of a rounded tone to it this looks great uh, I will now duplicate this in tree. kits and select all three of them. I will choose a color of my choice to signify. Uh, select them again and group. So now I will try to align this group to the center of this square. I think this should look great. So I will highlight it and create a component. Now this frame is a component, I name it hamburger menu. Now this component I will create three variants to give me that kind of animation. Select it and create auto layout by pressing shift A put the auto layout to horizontal okay and give it a distance of maybe say 45 yeah this looks okay now for the second variant I will get each of the outer rectangles and bring them to the center okay and for the third variant I will rotate those re rectangles both clockwise and anti-clockwise to 45 degrees each for each of them 45 degrees clockwise and minus 45 degrees anti-clockwise 45 okay now Now I will create a group Ctrl G and they are now grouped. I will align them to the center of the square and give it a few maybe red signifying close. And this looks great. Now to the form part, I'll create my prototype from the first frame variance to the second. It's gonna be on click, change to smart animate, ease in and out back 200 milliseconds. Okay, for the second variant to the third variant, it's gonna be after delay of one milliseconds. Change to Smart Animate, Ease In and Out Back, 200 milliseconds. Now for the third variant, we will drag it back to the first and put the interaction details to one click, Ease In and Out, 200 milliseconds. Figma does a great job of remembering the settings from the previous animation. So. What we'll do next is to create a frame. I would like to use Android Large to create a frame. 
and I will give it uh, a gradient look to make things a little bit appealing. I will use a gradient to look for it. This looks good. I will just copy duplicate one the first frame and put it here okay this looks gorgeous so the we'll preview our creation and see how it goes So this is the product of what we got for the hamburger menu. You can see how smooth it is. I also created three variants for this hamburger menu. Three different styles. They all look great. So it's left to you based on the style you want to use for your design. So if you really found this video helpful, please consider to subscribe and like this video to help you YouTube algorithm push us forward to other people that will need such videos. So thank you for watching up to this point. See you in our next video.